think skateboarding and art are related because they're both forms of self-expression. So it's kind of a dance. If you're carving down the street, you're maintaining your speed. It's like, how do you draw a line? There's a point where you're too fast. There's a point where you're too slow. So the two seem to really go together as, to me, as a full body sense of self-expression. His art is accessible and brings joy to people. I mean, I love watching people look at his art because you always will see a smile on their face and he has a, a sense of spirituality and authenticity and childlike joy that comes out in his art. A lot of people ask me, oh, where's this coyote face from? Or what is this coyote creature? And I grew up with a Siberian Husky and just loved her. Her name was Kiyomi. And my sister and I just started drawing her, a very simplified version of her, like cheeks, ears, nose snout, shoulder, curly tail. So a lot of it just came from drawing the animals that I was surrounded by in childhood. And I was always really satisfied with the results. If you could just get the outline and fill it in with shapes and patterns, it had a pretty good aesthetic. It's really satisfying to complete a work that people find beautiful on the side of Amoeba Records on Haight Street here in San Francisco. The wall is rough and textured and there's wires, but with spray paint, you can kind of go right over that stuff because you're not actually touching the surface. I really enjoy interacting with the streets and painting in the streets and decorating. You know, so much of what we see around us is imposed on us, whether it's ads or like that's you. You can feel good that you are participating in what everyone sees around the city. I've been a professional artist for 10 years now, and I also manage uh, an art space in San Francisco called The Growlery, which is an 1892 Victorian that has been turned into an artist residency program. It survived the 1906 earthquake, so it's very much a San Francisco home. I would like it to be a really nice space, really welcoming space, but I also wanted it to be comfortable for a kid on a skateboard to come here and look at art. Just as comfortable for some of my friends in the tech industry to come and look at art in the same space. The space is so nice that it gives extra credibility to the art, like the sticker desk. If it was just in the back of some skate shop where there's posters and skating everywhere, one could maybe just dismiss it, but when it's presented in a really nice, clean environment, it allows people to really take a deeper look at it. There's a whole international culture around people who like to work on their hand styles and make stickers and I save them with the people I interact with and I like to hang them. The bathroom is kind of dedicated to the art of hand styling. The bedroom that I'm in, I call it the blue room. There's a lot of arrangements, a lot of mementos. I have photos of all my grandparents who are all deceased. So there's everything from very intimate family details to sort of more raw street finds. Anywhere I look, anywhere I see will make me feel a sense of beauty and inspiration, a desire to be a better person, a desire to just go out there and do me. So to keep me in the room feeling good, as well as inspire me to go out in the world feeling good. The library, our guest room, also is a space I got to curate with a balance between excited energy and calm, peaceful energy. Charles Dickens coined the word growlery uh, in his book, The Bleak House. It means a place of refuge or retreat, literally a place to go growl. And then it was removed from the concise dictionary. So it felt to me too like artists being removed from the city, this word was removed from the dictionary. So I felt like it had been used by artists in the past to mean a place to create art. Sometimes people think, oh, I'm not an artist. I always say if you can print the alphabet, you can paint or draw anything. When you write, it's just a vertical line, a horizontal line, a diagonal, a curve this way or a curve this way. And that's all painting and drawing is. My hope would be when people view my artwork is to take away a sense of wonder and hopefully want them to get out and interact with the natural world, the animals of the planet, and help preserve the natural spaces.